If you're someone who's waiting around in crypto for the next bull run to hit in order to get wealthy, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I am not with you there. In today's video, let's cover why I'm not waiting around for the next bull run to get wealthy and maybe even a little bit on how I plan on getting wealthy outside of just waiting on my hands for my investment to go to the moon. This video is going to be kind of a rant and kind of an informative video, really depends on how you define informative, but I'm a dude in my mom's basement, let's keep that in mind. I do pay rent, although it is very cheap, um, but for the past two years, I've been making YouTube videos on crypto and I've been investing in crypto, but in reality, most of my efforts have been um, a little lackluster in the past year. I've settled down and at times I've thought to myself, hey, what if I just wait and crypto will save me, the money will go up, my profits will return and I'll be uh, an absolute uh, at least set for life person that has to not worry about financial issues at all because crypto went up and I sold. But truth is, um, no matter what your investment is, and my main one was Cardano, um, I invested a ton of money into Cardano. I made a ton of money in Cardano uh, with NFTs and other things. And like, if we go back to all time high, most of my Cardano was around uh, this peak right here from $3 to you know what $2. And I had at one point in Canadian currency, because that's where I'm from, around $400,000 worth of assets. Now I have about $70,000 worth of assets, um, Canadian or closer to 80,000 uh, in crypto holdings. And keep in mind that that's also with me accumulating more crypto. So yes, crypto can return to these prices and even surpass them in the next bull run. But if I'm just waiting every day, it's a pretty, and not enjoyable life to me uh, to try to create wealth with just a crypto investment. Yes, you can use it to excel uh, the money you make outside of crypto, um, but using just crypto as your gateway to wealth and prosperity to me is not only not fun, but it's not reliable. And it does add in a sense of gambling, even if you're fully convicted in the asset, um, not having a way to build distribution and build uh, on yourself during this phase of the bear market where things are down and we don't know if they will return to other highs, especially on the cryptos that you're picking, uh, is a great time instead to not just sit there, but to actually start today to build something. Or maybe you're a crypto trader prodigy and you can go with any market and make a ton of money. In that sense, why are you watching this video? I have no idea. Uh, maybe you just want some entertainment and you want to say how you're better than everybody else, but most people are not those people. Most people don't want to even create a business. They don't want to do anything. They want to just work their fiat job. They want to do uh, whatever they're doing right like in life right now that's comfortable. Um, and they don't want to push to get wealthy outside uh, by themselves and rather rely on the crypto price going up. That's the reality of the situation. I'm not saying anything's good or bad. I'm just saying what it is. And this way is more or less on the gambling side compared to taking some of your own actions and trying to build something for yourself to up your overall odds. Now, as I mentioned, for the past two years, I've been talking about cryptocurrency on this YouTube channel, 800 videos, and on Twitter, over 18,000 different tweets. Um, and now I realize I've stepped it up a bit um, and I've kind of waken up a bit to just know that I, if I want to stop gambling as much and more or less build something, uh, distribute something, uh, a platform for myself and more and to have actual you know, growth outside of just how much people are interested in the market because the price went up because that is a large part of building something in crypto, uh, but have growth outside of just crypto growth um, to distribute things like a newsletter, to distribute things like a website, uh, and to have more valuable content and more valuable things to build uh, rather than just talking about the price or just doing one thing. Um, and yes, you could build a brand just talking about the price on the internet, uh, but in general, doing something, creating something, anything uh, that may push you towards that wealthy in terms of building a business or doing something else, to me, is absolutely going to up your odds. Yes, you may fail. Yes, you may not make a million dollars in the first year or two. Uh, you may not even make $20,000. Um, but the truth is, you can actually have a chance. You don't have to wait for the bull run. And if you're still waiting for the bull run, keep your crypto and do this other stuff on the side. Don't just sit there and get com complacent, complacent. Uh, like I, I did quite a bit uh, over the past you know, year. I had those moments where I was just going to wait for the bull run to return. I had that feeling 
and I didn't want to do anything because I was just thinking about how I just have to wait for the bull run. But the truth is, it's gambling. And even if you have a lot of conviction, it's a lot better to up your odds and actually build something. Anyways, this was just a short rant. I'm going to expand on all these topics and also put actionable useful advice into uh, this concept of building something, give you some ideas. I do have a full newsletter and also Twitter threads on that you could be doing in crypto to make money on the side, uh, get jobs in crypto, freelance offers, become a creator, things like that. Um, if you want to check out, I'll leave that video uh, on the screen right now, should be somewhere there. Uh, but also check out my Twitter, check out my newsletter. Uh, they are valuable pieces of information that I'll be posting every single day. I'm um, trying to inspire you and also just show you where I'm at with my growth and what I'm creating outside of waiting. Uh, so yeah, that's the whole video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your friend Jack. Peace.